What's up, everybody? This is Moose here, and I'm bringing you another gameplay of mine from the horribly addicting Modern Warfare 3. I I do not really see what everybody's problem is. I know I know what the main problem is, and that is hacking. But if there weren't hackers, this would be a good game. Like. I love it for Xbox and all that, but I play Wii, so I love it even more for the Wii. And it is the trending I shouldn't I shouldn't say trending game right now, because Black Ops has more players than ever. And more players on it constantly than it did while it was the newest game out. Modern Warfare three is like a constant twelve thousand, Black Ops is like a forty thousand. So that is a huge difference. And I just don't like it. So more, more about instead of Modern Warfare 3 about the game itself. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this gameplay real quick. As you can obviously see by now, it is an AA12 gameplay on the map Interchange. Yeah, this is this is an odd map for me to be using the AA12 on, or any shotgun in general. But I picked one of the biggest maps to go out and get a great gameplay on with probably the shortest range of any gun in the game. So, without further ado, here's a little spoiler, spoiler alert, and it is with, it is a Moab gameplay, I'm going to just say that, not going to say the score, you guys can see it and everything, it's with damage, and the reason why you guys are seeing this Moab gameplay now is because um, this was originally going to be for my gold gun with every Moab. Moab with every gold gun. Okay, I said that last part way wrong. You guys can laugh at me now. Now that you're done laughing, yeah. My Moab with every gold gun show. Yeah, hard, of course. But, of course, I, I mess up sometimes, and this is one of them. I forgot to put gold camo on the gun before the match. This was like two or three matches after I got it level 31, and I didn't put the gold camo on it. So I got this gameplay, saved it and everything, and then I prestiged. I'm pretty sure I'm level 80 in this video, so I prestiged after I got it and made sure it was saved. And then, maybe like two or three days later, I'm looking at my gameplays, and I see that my AA-12 Gold Moab actually has Autumn Camo on it. So, I'm going to have to redo with the AA-12 Gold Moab, because I want to keep it true. want to keep it true for you, and keep it true for me, because I'm a man of my word, and Autumn Camo is not Gold Camo. I had the Gold Camo, I just didn't have it. That makes kind of sense. And it kind of disappointed me, but this is a pretty great gameplay nonetheless, and I'm showing it to you. I don't know why, but I seem to do better as killstreak-wise on the huge maps with shotguns than on the small maps, which is completely contradictory to the playstyle of a shotgun. Like, I can almost go out in every match on Interchange and get a Moab or a Moab fail with a shotgun. But, it'll take me 25 games on Dome to get the exact same results. And, I just, I just don't get it. It really doesn't make sense to me. But, I guess I just know the routes for running, running a shotgun on this map. The biggest thing with this gun in general is to flank and that is that is the biggest thing I can say is you don't you don't want to get, get into head-on gunfights because you have to be super close with the AA-12 to kill anybody and if you're not close to anybody then you're gonna die and you're gonna die pretty fast if you run up behind these two to three enemies you can get them all without them even noticing you're there. Or before they have the chance to turn around, boom, triple feed with an AH-12. I actually got a nice little triple kill spawn. 
fun triple kill with the A12 on downturn, and that's another map I do really well with on, with shotguns. It's a pretty decent sized map, and I don't know what, what my deal is, but I'm just better at the larger maps. I guess I know, again, I know the rush routes, or the running routes of how to play them. But, as I just spent five and a half minutes about ta talking about the gameplay, I am just going to kind of ramble now. I'm hoping to get my Wii back 15 days. I looked at the tracking for it, and it said they haven't received it yet. I sent it out two days ago, and that is super expected. So, I'm hoping they get it tomorrow sometime, which would be today, um, the 14th? No, 15th, actually. So I'm hoping they're getting it on the 15th or the 16th, and then I'm hoping that it does not take them the whole 10 business days to um, fix it, because that would be, I don't know, unfortunate, because that would be basically 14 days, because of weekends, and Moosey gets impatient, very impatient. So. Me and my stupidity prestige, and I have to redo the gun, which makes me kind of sad, because it did take a little bit. A gold gun, I usually get my first gun gold in a level when I'm going for the series, and it, if it's a good gun, a nice weapon, I could get it within 40 levels gold. But if it's a bad gun, it will... Or my second gun depending good or bad will take me probably I don't know anywhere for between 30 to 40 more levels to get it gold but then to actually get the Moab it may take me all the way to level 80 and past it there was a couple guns that I had to make to I got that 2500 kill up title by just trying to get the gold Moab I think that might have been the MK14 and one other gun maybe the KSG so it, it just is weird. I'm hoping to get as much good content out as possible to you guys. I'm hoping to upload to COD Encyclopedia, if you guys haven't heard of that yet. I'm going to record a commentary for them and see if I'm accepted. It's going to be a Modern Warfare 3 Moab, of course, because I'm the king. Nah, I'm not the king. I only have 65. Yeah, right here, as I'm saying, only. But... It, it's just, Moabs get easier as you keep getting them. You you learn routes, spawns, game game modes, and game styles on how you're going to get them, and how you are suited to get them. So, and I actually got a new TV, a new old TV, and it has left, right, and it has the video, left and right audio, so I need to go buy another splitter. And I don't know if that will improve sound quality at all, but I hope it does. Anyway, guys, this has been Moose rambling on for 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.